Let's talk about physical locations that are not franchises. So you're a store owner, local auto shops, family restaurants, corner markets, mom and pop kind of things. There's a lot of strengths to this model because it's part of the community, right? And you're not a franchise, so you have that freedom to uh, be high touch right there with your customers and change things at will because you choose your marketing, you choose your products, you can diversify whenever you want into other things and you can make it very uniquely fit customer needs. There are some of the same challenges that the physical franchises have, right? The brick and mortar um, location, you're going to have issues with the building or the rent or catastrophes that can happen, the weather. Um, the market could get saturated, right? However, um, most of us have learned at this point that it does help if you have competition. It seems to bring more customers to all. That's often why the big box stores like Walmart and Target, they'll be huddled right next to each other on the same block um, because somehow that brings both businesses up. There can be a high-end upfront investment, uh, and because it's not going through a franchise, that might be harder to secure funding for, and a high ongoing investment. Of course, it might be less because there's not franchise fees, and so that's, that would be a plus. Opportunities. You can build additional stores. Maybe you want to make more stores in your community or maybe you want to start becoming a line of stores because you see the success. Um, I know that Five Guys probably started out like that in Virginia. There's just a location and then it kind of grew to another one and then now it's exploding all over the United States. Um, there's a great opportunity to be become a major community fixture you can be involved in so many different things when you're in this role, and that will help the community, and it'll also give you brand and name recognition um, as people get to know you and more people might come to your business. The threats are um, the reputation. It's a little more difficult than the national brand. If the national brand has an issue, it'll temporarily go down probably and then come back up. If it's local, um, you're going to have to really work hard um, if you have gotten any mistrust between the local community because uh, these are closer friendships than a franchise brand like McDonald's um, and so uh, that hits deeper on the customers. Um, another thing is your behavior in your personal time can impact your business directly, that especially if your name is at all associated with your store Everything you do will be scrutinized more, um, and so that is something to be very careful of with a non-franchise physical location. So it's just some things to think about.